Today you're going to learn how to create an arc with Geometry Nodes where you can custom the radius, the height and other features. I know it's not the most interesting object to create, but you're going to learn a lot of nodes and how to solve a lot of problems. So let's do it. Let's take the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes, close this and this panel. And let's create a new profile. We want to start with an arc, so let's delete this, press Shift A and search for arc. Arc is a curve, so let's connect it. And here we have an arc. To see it better, just click in the Z axis. Here we have the main features, we have the resolution, the number of points. More points you add, more perfect is the circle. The radius, remember, is the distance between the center and the circle. Here you have how open it's the arc, you can close it or make it more open. And here you have the invert arc. And here you have an option to connect the end and the start in the center. And this is the beginning of the arc. Now it's here, so we can change the rotation of this arc. And here you have another way to create an arc, if you click in points, that now is controlled by three points. We have this point, the start, the end, and the middle. So you can control, for example, the position of the start in the three axes, the position of the end, and the position of the middle for example, in y-axis. But today we are going to use this option, radius. And I'm going to add zero, and I want a perfect half arc. So let's add 180 degrees. Now let's give some mesh to this arc. So let's add curve to mesh. And I want this arc to have a shape of a square. So I'm going to use quadrilateral. This one. So we have this shape. But I want to make it smaller. So I click both and I make it smaller. You can make it a square or you can change an axis to make it look different. For example, something like that. But I'm going to leave, for example, 0 0.3. Now, this looks horrible because we have Shade Smooth activated. So to disable Shade Smooth, we need to add Shade smooth and click here. So now it looks better. If you want to fill this to close it, just click here. Let me clean this. So now we have this setup and I want to rotate it in the x axis. So we need to add transform. And let's go for rotation in the x axis 90 degrees. Perfect. So now, remember, we can change the radius. And what I want is to add two columns. So how we can do that? What we can do is to add here a join geometry, because we want to join other geometries. And we are going to create two lines. And we are going to stick these lines in these points. So let's add a curved line. And I'm going to join it here, so this line we have already the curve mesh. So here we have this curve line. Remember where we have two different points, the start and the end. We need two lines, so what we can do is to duplicate this and connect it here. However, now we have four points, this one, this one, this one, this one to match these points and these points. So it's more worth to do something like that, to try to do it well, something like this. You can do it, but it's a lot of points. So I'm going to show you another way to make it easier. What we're going to do is to make a copy with a wire and add a transform and connect it here. And add another transform here. So basically, now we have two lines so here we have our arc, and here we have two columns. Now both columns are at the same position, because have the same location. However, now it's easier to move this, because we can say this one, for example, if we click here, we can push it in the x-axis, in negative, and this one, we can push it in positive axis. Perfect. But how we can match this, because you can do, for example, okay, so you can click here, and just 
be like this and say, mm, I think here is perfect, and here I think it's perfect. But what if later you want to change the radius? So how we say, please, can you follow this? And you can follow this. This is really easy. If you notice, the radius of the arc is the distance between the center and the circle. So this is the radius. So if you notice this, this distance is the same. When it's zero, it's at the center. When we push this, it's like increasing the radius. So if this radius now is 2, and we add minus 2, we are matching this distance. And we can do the same with this, but in positive. OK, so what we can do is to control with one value the exposition of both columns and the radius. So let's bring a value to control the radius. And with this, let's connect it to the x axis. However, if you connect it like that, you are going to add 2 to the 3 axis. So we don't want that. We need to isolate the x. So let's bring combine. So now here we can join this value with the x value. So let's see if this works. At least this column is following the radius. Perfect. Now we need to do the same with this one. However, this has to be in negative. So let's duplicate this. And we cannot connect this directly here, because if we do this, then both columns are there. Look, before, after. We need to add something here to say, get this value, but in negative. So to do that, we can add here a math node in multiply by minus 1, because one number multiplied by minus 1 is the same number in negative. For example, 3 plus minus 1 equal minus 3. So now, making this change here, we are getting this column in this place. So with this value, we are controlling the radius, and at the same time, we are making the columns follow this position. I know what you're thinking. This looks weird. Don't worry. We are going to fix it. But at least we have this solved. So let's call this radius. Now what we have to do is to set the arc in this height in both columns. So how we can do that? This is really easy. Here, remember, we have a transform. So we have a z-axis. If we click here, we are lifting the arc. OK, cool. And if you remember, this is aligned with this point and this point. And this point is this one, the end. Define it by the z. So this is the height of the column. So if we match this value with this one, both are going to match. For example, if I select 2, and now I go to the column and I click 2, both are matching. Don't worry, later we're going to fix this. So what we can do is to do the same. Let's get a combinate. So we work only with the z-axis. And let's create another value to control the height of the arc. And at the same time, let's bring another combinate and let's connect it to the Z. So with this number now, if we increase it, we are changing the height of the arc and the height of the column. So both always are matching. So look how with this setup, now with these two values, we can control the height and the radius. Here you have the setup. I know it looks a bit complicated, but we repeat a lot of patterns.
Now we have another problem that if you notice this, look at this. They are not perfectly matching. Mm, how we solve that? What we could do is to increase a bit this. For example, let's increase this or this number. So if we make it like this, here is perfect. And here we can make longer the arc. So it's a way to solve it. However, maybe later you change the radius. And sometimes, depends what you do, it will open. So a better way to do it, let me leave zero. I'm going to show you another way. Here we can add a node called merge by distance. By the way, this has to be after this because this works with a mesh. So let me bring this here. So with this, if we increase this distance, look at here. Let me at this so we can see better this problem if i increase this look now this appears this is the resolution so don't confuse it so this how it works basically we are saying if we increase this we are increasing the minimum distance to merge to join the meshes by the distance so more you increase this more it will disappear because we are saying that everything that is really close to this like for example if you have two points and we increase this distance when match another point what those basically is to merge these two points in one so this one disappear so that's why when we increase this all the mesh start being less and less at the end we have only one point but here if we just add a little bit because this is really close we can solve this problem by the way just notice that these lines just appear after we added this node for example if i press m to mute now we get back this smoothness but we lose the connection so if we add this how we can solve this this happens because when you are merging and you are increasing the distance, we are losing resolution because we are getting less and less points. So we get this shape. For example, if I increase this, look how this will increase. So the solution, if I click zero, nothing happens because we don't have any distance. The solution is to add a number lower than this one, but not zero. For example, 0 0.01. And now, this is connected and this is smooth. So with this, we solve this problem. Perfect. And now we have this setup, remember, where here we can change the height and the radius. And if you want, you can send these values to the geometry modifier. Oh, you have to add here group input and connect it here. However, this doesn't have an input. So we have to change this for a math node. So let's bring a math node. Let me change both values. Now I change the values node for these ones because these ones have an input. So here we can still change the height and the radius. But what we can do is to connect here and here another to have outside controls from here. And we can change these names. Press N, go here in group, and this one is, remember, this one is height, so, and this one radius. Press N to height. And now here we have an easier control to see the height and the radius. And if you want, also, you can change this, remember. Here, you can increase both, or you can increase one. Oops, there is a problem. Okay, let's solve this. So what we have to do is to rotate or this curve or both curve. I think the faster way 
is to rotate this. So to rotate a curve, it's called tilt. So let's bring here curve tilt. Not this one. Tilt curve. This one. Set curve tilt. With this, we can rotate this. So for example, to see it better, let me decrease this. And look, if we tilt this arc, for example, 90 degrees, now it's match. So now this is working perfectly. You can add the same number in both, or you can do, for example, something like a bridge, something like that, if you want, or a tunnel. So it's not just an arc. And if you want, you can send these values to here. Let's do the same and we finish. Group input. But let's press N and let's say with, with mesh, high mesh. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you learned a lot of new tricks, a lot of new ways to solve problems. And if you want to get this project, I recommend you to subscribe to my Patreon. And if you want to learn more things, subscribe to this channel, give a like and see you in the next video.